Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So the year of 2014 has come to an end and it's only right that I do a best in beauty um, of 2014. I'm calling it my beauty besties of 2014. All my top products that I was loving this year, I really tried to narrow this video down it was incredibly difficult. There were so many different things that I was loving, but I think I picked out the few that I was just consistently reaching for. Some of these I've mentioned in a video, some of them I have not, but um, I have been loving them all. Um, I think I have a good mixture of high-end to drugstore to medium, medium and, and so yeah, if you would like to see all the products that I was loving for 2014, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I am just going to start with the face. I'm going to start with the primer. Um, I have mentioned this product before. This is a higher end product, but it is amazing and I think it's well worth the price. It is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Oil Free, Oil Free Primer with, with SPF 15. I know for sure I've mentioned and raved about this. This is my holy grail primer. Um, if I'm ever going somewhere and I need to make sure my makeup stays all day and I stay matte, I absolutely make sure I use this primer. It does retail for 52, 54 something around there, but I promise you, I promise you it is well worth the money. I love Love this stuff so this is my favorite for 2014 and primers moving on to foundation I have two one drugstore I'm sure you can guess which uh, drugstore foundation it is the Revlon color stay this is my go to it's super long wearing I wear it every day that I go to work I work 12 hour shifts it lasts me the whole entire shift um, it looks just as good as the morning um, as it does when I get off of work in the evening I love it um, full coverage keeps me matte long wearing 10 bucks maybe bomb and then for high-end foundations I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys but after going through everything, it is my Kat Von D um, Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This is an extremely full coverage foundation, which I love, but it's not too full coverage to where you feel really cakey and wear down, in my opinion. Um, it is a matte formula, formula, so it keeps me matte. It is very long lasting. One thing that I do have to do with this, because the color is a little off, it's slightly orangey, so I do mix it with another foundation most of the time. Most of the time I mix it with my um, Makeup Forever HD foundation. I mix these two together or I mix it with my um, Urban Decay Naked Skin foundation. But whatever I use this mixed with something else, it's always beautiful. So if you have not tried this out, I definitely recommend you try it out if you do like full coverage foundations and this would be your best friend. Moving on to concealers. I know I've mentioned this before. It's my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. I love this stuff. It applies very nicely under the eye. I use my Beauty Blender to mix it in. It provides beautiful coverage. It does crease slightly, but if you set it, it is not going anywhere. And I actually use this in combination with my MAC Prep and Prime Highlight and Bright Forecast. These two together create the most beautiful under eye. I am wearing it today and uh, it's just magical. Love these two. Um, next, I'll move on to face. What I use to set the NARS and the um, MAC uh, Prep and Prime Highlight is the NARS um, Light Reflecting Loose Powder. I'm wearing it today also underneath my eyes. I mentioned it before. This is just my holy grail setting powder underneath my eyes. Sometimes I use it all over my face. Um, I've mentioned, I've described it before as in it gives me like this soft, flawless like face and it really, really does do that. Like if, I don't know if you can see under my eyes, it's just stunning. I absolutely love this. I will repurchase this over and over and over again. Um, I hope they never discontinue it. It is magical. It is amazing. I think it'll be good for any type of skin type. It doesn't dry me out or cling on to my dry patches because I do, I do have combination skin. So if you are dry, you can use this. If you're oily, you can absolutely use it. It is translucent. It's a translucent powder. It doesn't create a white cast on my, um, my skin tone or anything. It is amazing. 
and then to set all over my face um, this is an oldie but a goodie I've been using this for years it is the MAC um, mineralized skin and finish natural I am in the shade medium deep I use this to set all over it keeps my makeup in place it gives me that nice matte finish again without my face looking cakey or powdery I hate that powdery look I can't stand it so this does not do that for me <laughs> boom it's wonderful Let's move on to eyes. What I use for my brows is another duo that I can't live without. It is from the queen of brows, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Dip, uh, dip brow pomade in the shade Chocolate. Love this. And then the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. I've repurchased this 17,000 times. This is my only one that I discovered in 2014 and I actually a little bit goes a long way. I've hardly made a dip in it if you could see. Um, I love these. If you can see I use them today on my brows. I think they give their most natural effect if you apply it lightly. My brows are sisters, not twins. They never look exactly alike but whatever. I've gotten used to it. My eyes are jacked. Anyways, I love these two. I think the color match is perfect for me. Um, my brows don't move after I put them on for the day and it's just deliciousness. So I love these two. Moving on to liner. I know I've mentioned this before. It is the NYC Liquid Liner in Black. $3. It is the most amazing liner. It, go, it does not move. It goes nowhere. I'm using it today on my eyes. Um, I use liquid when I have glitter and I have glitter on my eyes today. Um, most of the time I also use the Inglot gel liner number 77. This is the blackest of black gel liners. Oh, I have a big dent in there. Um, I picked this up from I'm at Fame Expo, I believe, and I'm never going to any other gel liner. I had the Bobbi Brown before this. I thought it was decent, but this is just perfection. Um, it creates the most beautiful cat eye. Ah, it's so black. You can use that as a base, whatever you want. Love this. And it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like 12 bucks. So I think it's a good price. Okay. Next, moving on to mascara. I discovered this in 2014 as well. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. Excellent, excellent drugstore mascara. I love it. It really volumizes, lengthens. It um, separates my lashes. It's... Try this. It's beautiful. Love it. Shade Black. Like six bucks from the drugstore. I haven't found a high-end found um, I haven't found a high-end mascara that I've been loving. I'm on the hunt. If you guys have a recommendation, leave it down below. I mean, if you don't, I don't really care. I'm good with my L'Oreal Miss Manga, but I like to try new stuffs. So moving on to contour. Um, there is only one contour that for my skin tone that I've discovered that works for me. Um, if you guys know of others, let me know down below. But it is from Sleek. So I did have to order this online and ship it um, internationally. But it is their face contour kit. And I have it in the shade Dark. And it looks like this. Um, I have it on today. And I must say this is amazing. I believe it was like $6.00 but it is just so smooth. I think the color for my skin tone is, is beautiful. It's a warmer, a warmer contour. Um, it's very smooth, buttery, it blends beautifully. And this highlight shade is gorgeous too. It looks very orangey yellow, um, but it does have some shimmer and it is this gold shimmer here, if you can see it. It's actually very beautiful. So. I love this kit. I think it's perfect for women of color. It does come in a different um, variety of shades. So if you're lighter, you can get one lighter. And then if you're darker, I'm an NW43, then the shade dark works perfect for me. So try this out if you are looking for a good contour. This is my holy grail contour. I tried the Anastasia contour kit the one that was already the original one that came out it just did not work for my skin tone and I've been loving this okay for highlighters um, I'm sure I mentioned it before but it is, it is by the balm Mary luminizer this 
highlighter is I, so beautiful. I think it's extremely universal. I think it looks beautiful on all skin types, all skin tones. Gorgeous. Um, it's extremely pigmented, buttery. Oh my goodness. Before I discovered Becca, this was like the highlight of my life. I love it. I think it's stunning. Um, I got mine on Hot Look. If you're not familiar with Hot Look is, it's like a flash website when they have flash sales, new sales going daily. I get a lot of my makeup there. They always have the bomb there. So this was like 10 bucks, 8 bucks on that website. I love it. I'll leave a link to where you can sign up below. It's absolutely free. But I picked this up from there. If you guys see it on there, I absolutely recommend it. Um, if you're a makeup artist, you can throw it in your kit. You can use it as a brow bone highlight. It's just stunning. So Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And a new highlighter that I discovered, and I, I'm sorry this was limited edition, but it is this Bobbi Brown um, Bronze Glow. Like, you guys... If you can get your hands on it, get it. It is so freaking stunning. And I think it would look just beautiful on, um, you know, of women of deeper skin tones. It is just the prettiest bronze gold color. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Like, the detailing and the print. It took me so... It was so hard for me to use this because it's so pretty, but... It's gorgeous. So it's super creamy, buttery, blends like a dream. It is perfection. And last with highlighters, I'm not even going to say very much about this because it has been all over YouTube, Instagram, Becca Opal. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. The texture of this freaking thing is just... Ah, oh, Becca did the damn thing on this highlighter, like, woo, love it. Okay, so now let's move on to eyeshadows. I don't know if I fe feature this palette a lot on my channel, but if you know me, you know how I feel about Lorac, and if you know me, you know how I feel about the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, I've I use this on my wedding. It is my heart and my soul, tried and true. If I never know what to do, I reach for this. If I'm traveling, I take this. The shades in here are so stunning. Um, it's a very warm tone with lots of neutrals. It has eight matte, eight shimmer shades. This palette made me fall in love with Lorac. I love it so much this pewter shade is like my best friend I hit pan on this sable like this palette is everything and more I love it to death the pigmentation the quality the blendability it is phenomenal if you do not have it get it I think out of this one the pro 2 and the mega palette get the pro one and be on your way and be done because this sh thing is a shit it's beautiful and then another palette that I discovered for this year, surprisingly, is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Amrezy palette. So when she released her catwalk palette, I thought it was complete crap. The shadows, to me, seemed very powdery, chalky. They weren't easy to work with. So I was really hesitant to get any of her other palettes. So she, when she released the lavish palette, I didn't get on... I wasn't, like, jumping on the bandwagon because I was so disappointed with the catwalk palette. And then, when she released the Amrezy palette, I love Amrezy. I follow her on Instagram, I have for a long time, and I was just like, well, let me give her another try, I have to have it, and I'm so glad I did. I love, love, love this palette. This caramel and this Morocco are my best friends. Like, this is absolutely a beauty bestie for 2014. I love this. This iridescent purple iridescent purple bomb this emerald bomb topaz beautiful like every single color in this palette is perfection i have caramel as my transition shade today you will always see me use caramel i'm always rocky morocco i have this legend and vanilla mixed as my brow highlight like emrezy palette beauty bestie 2014 
Okay, you guys, last for my beauty favorites, uh, let's move to lips. So this was extremely hard for me to kind of narrow down my favorite lipsticks of 2014 because I have a vast amount of lipsticks, um, some that I use all the time, some that I just forget about that I haven't used. It's so hard for me, and I have every single brand. So I tried to narrow it down to, like, drugstore brand lipsticks and then the brand high-end because there's just too many that I love. So for drugstore, I think Milani has the best quality lipsticks ever. This is in the shade Pretty Natural. I picked this up recently, but it is just so beautiful. It's a very pretty pinky shade. Love this. I actually do like the smell. It does smell like watermelon, but these shades are very creamy. The Milani lipsticks are very creamy, very opaque. They're not drying on the lips. I really, really, really do enjoy them, and they are very, very, very affordable. Along with the Maybelline lipsticks, they're also amazing. This is in the shade Touch of Spice. It's a very pretty mauve pink, and just with one swipe, like the pigmentation of these are just uh, amazing again super creamy I think you know Maybelline and Milani are my favorite drugstore lipstick brands as far as end lipsticks go I have to give it up to NARS for coming out with these audacious lipsticks these y this year I mean they just really really did an amazing job with these the texture the creaminess they're super opaque literally one swipe on your lips boom you're done they are amazing they are quite ex pricey but i think they're worth the price so this was in the shade anna by the way this is stunning um as far as lip glosses go i'm not sure if you know i'm sure you do but i do love my gerard cosmetics lip glosses i always have one in my purse always can just pop them on. Um, the one I have in my purse is in the shade Buttercream. It's this very um, pretty light pink shade and these are super opaque as well. They're not sticky at all. I love them. They go on the lips very smooth. I just, I always have one on, I always have one in my purse. They never do me wrong. I love them. Alright you guys, so that is it for my beauty besties of 2014. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Make sure you guys subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload new videos. And that is it. Until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.